Welcome everyone to Broken Screen. I'm Fabio and we have Caesar with me and today we are going to discuss Last of Us Part 2. So this... Hello everyone, let's do it. Okay, so this is going to be a fairly one-take discussion. Um, we are going to discuss story gameplay graphics and then we will have some final thoughts. Obviously we are going to have some spoilers here, so be aware of that. Um, and if you weren't spoiled so far, you are very lucky. So, <laughs> first of all, oh, let's do some intro. And Caesar, what did you think of the game? I liked it a lot. Uh, I keep hearing people talking about about uh, about the game, and I was expecting it to be to have some big like no no for me, but uh, I was fine with it. I didn't like the ending that much, but for the most part, I, I was there. Yeah, I can agree with that. The ending left me with a bit of some mixed feelings. Uh, overall, I really enjoyed playing the game. I gave it a 95 out of 100 in my review. I think that mm. Naughty Dog did a phenomenal job creating this game. And I understand that the story is you either love it or you hate it. Uh, but let's discuss story first, okay? So, mm -hmm. what was your favorite part of the story? Well, my favorite part was probably hanging around with Abby. Despite not liking her character that much, or at least uh, not buying into that thing that uh, they were trying to humanize her a lot, to make her relatable to you. Like, it did work for a little bit, but... Uh, I still think she she wasn't uh, justified in doing. Well, she was justified in doing their thing, but uh, but that, but Ellie should have killed her. You know, should uh, should have some conclusion of some sort there. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. Uh, one thing that I loved in the first Last of Us was the fact that uh, the game chose for you if Joel would save Ellie or not, and uh, I was really thankful for that because I don't think that I could make that choice by myself. Uh, but in here, mm -hmm. I think that uh, it would make sense to let us choose if we kill Abby or not at the end. Yeah, especially like it's, it's the end. It seems very, very conclusive for, for Ellie. Yeah. Um, so another thing that uh, I think it, it could be handled a little better was the final chapter. Because uh, before the final chapter, you already had some conclusion for Ellie. She was happy with uh, mm. her family uh, in a farmhouse. You mean that part she goes to the, the headneck place, right? The... Yes, yes. When she goes to California, yes. Uh, that part yeah, could that, have been... That seemed a little bit like uh, Return of the King. It just kept having endings, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, I think that uh, they could have just focused on Abby and giving and give some conclusion to Abby with her maybe finding or not the the, the fireflies in there, even though it, it was clearly a bait by those rednecks that wanted to slay, enslave all people. Um, mm. But and uh, leave Ellie Ellie with the, the the good ending after. All that she said. Yeah, but but I think they they really wanted us to feel like shit at the end, and, and the yeah. point of all of this is like it's showing that despite their they having their motivation for revenge, it all leads to nothing in the end, and yeah. you 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 you're, you're, and you have nothing. Like like I, I I don't think the ending is bad. It just sucks, you know, because <laughs> she all all that the things that Ellie did, all all our motivations that. From some perspective, you were behind her because you played with her in the first game a lot and with Joel. And it's all for nothing. Like, it sucks. She, she can't even play the guitar. She, she lost yeah. everyone yeah, that ever cared about her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand that they wanted to do this really dark and grim. And I, I'm a sucker for dark and grim. I really like when they do that on the story. And they do yeah. a really good job during the game to show you that Ellie is a monster. She's really a monster driven yeah. by revenge. And the, the thing and, and she... when you play against her, like you yeah. really feel that it's terrifying to go against her because she's so she's yeah, she so, uses so, the so hardened by battle and, and 
coached by Joel that she's a she's a beast. Like she'll she, kill you easily. Yeah, she she basically does to you what you have been doing to other enemies in the game. Makes you feel like an NPC yeah. and really <laughs> not the main character. But, but did you see for the ending for the the last battle? They had to nerf uh, Abby. Uh, yeah. Upper well, body strength for, yeah. for it to be like a, a nice battle at the end. Yeah, well, to be honest, she was captive for a long time, for months. Uh, yeah. And she was like uh, stranded in that beach, uh, getting all that sun and heat during all day, so she was probably very weak. Uh, what, mm. m my other vision about the ending in here is that uh, they wanted to close the circle of revenge. Um, in a way, and, 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 and they kind of made made efforts to be justified, you know, because most people I see online are just saying, like, oh, how can she go back after all of that, go all that way because she she was there, she was content, but she was she was having those those nightmares, those PTSD yeah, yeah, she, from happen yeah. to Joel. So she she they, they justify it in a way, but the you know it's not bad, it's just horrible to, to see because you, you care about the character yeah um, <clears throat> yeah that's one that's the thing uh, is that um, when Abby fights Ellie the first time she almost she, she she's ready to kill her right and Lev mm -hmm. tells Abby not to kill her and when, you can see that when a Ellie is going to kill Abby in the final chapter she looks at Lev and she reminds, she, she gets reminded that, of okay, herself. Yeah, right. And yeah, because that that's the thing. The story of Abby and Lev, it's bas it's the same story of Joel and and Ellie in the first game. You have this yeah. str strong figure and the the weaker one, right? And but learning learning from her and yeah. growing with her. Yeah, and 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 Ellie, when she if she kills Abby, she knows that Lev is doomed basically because. Is in a bed. Is is really sick. Uh, it's really weak, and is going to be stranded in a boat alone. So it's basically mm. a death sentence. So uh, it may, it, I don't it, know. It, but yeah, I, I can see that. But maybe I, I maybe thought that they were trying to make um, like the circle of violence would continue. Like if if he survives, yeah. you you will come to to, to hate Ellie and try to yeah. kill her again. You know. So the the cycle the cycle of violence just continues another yeah. another generation. Yeah. Maybe she tried to to broke that thing there, but the thing is, it feels a little bit weak just because it was two times that that, that happened. You know that she made the decision not to kill her. It happened before, and then after all that thing, and and she was happy with uh, with Ali. It happened again, so it feels a bit weak. Although it's justified by the thing that, that she keep, keep having uh, those nightmares, mm -hmm. yeah. But it still feels a little bit, you know, you could have done a, a different way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that um, the what they could have done with the story is change the order completely. I think that yeah, um, yeah. That, that, that's the reason I think most people have problems with yeah. uh, with playing with Avi and, yeah. and Joel dying. Yeah, I you mean, know, a lot it, of people keep saying that this should be another game in between this. This should be Last of Us three in a way, you know. Yeah. If you get to know Abby before, and maybe have like Ellie and Abby go on their own adventures on a, a supposed supposed uh, second chapter, mm -hmm. and their their story will intertwine somewhat, and you, they, maybe they could become friends or something like that. And then in the third game, you have that big emotional payoff of killing killing Joel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or, or do it in this game, but, you know, do it sooner, like you said. Like, uh, don't don't straight up kill Joel like that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think that they should... They, they could have done Jack the Jackson chapter to introduce uh, the, the the game world. Abby and Ellie mm. and Joel to the, get, to the game again. And then you would do... The three days with Abby, okay, and then yeah. you would do the three days with Ellie, and then before mm. the, the, the their stories uh, intercept, you would do the flashback where um, Abby 
kills Joel and even make you do it with a with a prompt. I think that would be a really really dirty stab in the back, uh, and people would. Yeah. Because uh, and but at least you already had that uh, that motivation behind yeah. it, right? Yeah, so you, you would you have the, feel the you would feel, was so random. Yeah, you would feel the sympathy for 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 Abby because you. Uh, he, I mean, they do a lot of a lot to make you like uh, the wolves and uh, all of yeah. the all of Abby's circle, uh, and then you would have the you would know that Ellie is on a, a path of revenge. Uh, and you know that Joel died, right? Because you see the the yeah. person with his grave, but you don't know who killed him. And then you see Ellie starting to fight these guys that you saw in Abby's campaign and kill them all. And you start feeling like, what the hell are you doing, Ellie? Why are you killing all these likable guys and the earls and whatever and all yeah. these people that we know? And then you find out that Abby killed Joel because of revenge. And then you see these two revenge circles just intertwining with each other, and then you can do the the, the regular Abby versus Ellie fight and do the final chapter. But that, I think that people would be more sympathetic towards Abby if they didn't know that uh, she killed Joel during all of all that time. And the way the way she did it as well, man, is so fucked up. Yeah, like I mean, she forced Ellie to watch. Uh, and Joel die is, yeah. is a little bit too much to for you to sympathize with her. Yeah, that's like the, I, I guess it's fucked up. She killed all. She killed her dad and most of her group. But at the yeah. same time, moral, morality in this world isn't you know isn't that uh, high of a bar. Yeah, yeah. So the, she uh, she went the extra mile there to really make us suffer. What the hell she was expecting uh, would happen, you know. Yeah, I mean, or I someone was going to come back to her. The decision that Joel had in the first game to save Ellie made Abby's life a living hell because she killed her dad, which was basically her hero. She destroyed the he destroyed the fireflies, which left them stranding the United States and the infected zones for a lot of time before they arrived at Seattle and saw them uh, and joined the wolves. So. She has all of the motivation, and one thing that the game does very well is that it doesn't create excuses for Joel. What Joel did was what all people do for survive in the in this world, and Joel was yeah, a monster. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I saw also a, a lot of people that said like you wouldn't make a difference uh, even if she had the cure, the cure because yeah. you wouldn't be replaced. We wouldn't be. Um, Manufacture on a on a global scale or on a on a big enough scale yeah. for it for it to matter. Yeah. So they those guys would have all the power to revive people or to to cure them. Yeah. So it would become a tyrannic group basically. Uh, yeah. 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 I think that uh, that's the the thing. Um, we need w- the, the 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 issue. Yeah. The the issue really is the order of the story. Uh, this, I think that the story is well crafted, um, and it's dark. And I, I, one thing that they really do a lot is the shock factor, where all the characters mm-hmm. that die just die. <laughs> I mean, they, oh, there but, is but no... it's done so well, man. And yeah, I, I mean... never felt I never felt it was sudden or yeah. Well, it was sudden, but it wasn't forced. Yeah, that's it. That there is no flag that uh, oh, this guy is gonna die for sure. No, the guy just walks yeah, into like a room. Like was really. Face. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and the death of many. Uh, to me the, the other shot. guy, the 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 Dahlia's, Dahlia's, uh, baby father. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, who? Uh, Jesse. The Asian guy. The. No. Jesse got shot in the face yeah. by by Abby. And yeah. You have, have many. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one I, I felt. He was. He was a little bit like, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, because uh, you, you are not expecting, and most of the deaths are like that. Uh, they are either yeah. like a random shot in the dark, or uh, Ellie just stabs them during a fight. One of the guys that doesn't die like that is the guy with the scar on the face that Ellie cuts at the beginning, that you kill him as Abby. Oh. Because he rushes towards you when you are you are trying to escape the, the Scar's village. 
Yeah, yeah, I remember that. That was that was brutal, man. You yeah, having like, like Joker from from Dark Knight by yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, that, I remember that I had the shotgun equipped and I just shot both of his legs and the guy just stood there just screaming. <laughs> and mm-hmm. it was brutal and uh, killing a, a, I mean he it, it was the most hateable character right uh, he never did anything to earn our sympathy un- unlike the other guys uh, so killing him like that was kind of satisfying in a <laughs> brutal way <laughs> yeah yeah but uh, yeah I mean I, 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 the, the story is good man the, the story is dark the story uh, I mean they don't ever try to colorize the story right uh, the, it's supposed to be uh, brutal you are supposed to feel bad when you are playing this game you are supposed to feel like a monster for killing dogs yeah. and these they, they do that very well it's a, yeah, a psychopath that, simulator very very well done yeah yeah that's the thing uh, and when you do the these sort of stories people either like it or people hate it. And I understand why people hate it, because revenge stories uh, and shock factor is something that has been done to death. Uh, and yeah, first... and especially if you're really into the first game and you remember a lot of it, it yeah. it's hard to accept, you know, that, that first that first twist. Yeah, because the... I, the I get first... that. Yeah, the first story had a very linear, uh, a very linear path where it's a, you were go, trying to go from point A to point B. So it's a, it's a, a travel story, right? Um, mm-hmm. These guys are in a, these guys are trying yeah, to... Yeah, now it's more complicated. The, yeah. It's a circular yeah, it's structure more, kind. Uh, yeah, the, and the, they, they, they really didn't handle the flashbacks really well because you have flashbacks within flashbacks. And that yeah, the pacing story, was a little bit too weird. Yeah, yeah, that ruined a bit the pa- the pacing, uh, because you it, it's easy to get confused in in, in the timeline. Uh, in the end, I think yeah. that I, I understood most of the story, or at least I think that I understood most of the story, and I can understand also why people wouldn't don't like the story. Um, but yeah, I think that they did a, a very good job. Uh, at least creating uh, and evolving the level game design more. was way way more interesting with Avi than than Ellie though. Uh, yes. Like that sky bridge and uh, all all the um, the places she explored with the set of fights and and the other groups. Yes, much better. Yeah, because uh, it, with Ellie, it's more of uh, the structure of the levels are more uh, alike to the first game. And with Abby, you start mm-hmm. to get those dark and uh, more horror-filling levels. Like that, um, the, the level where you are trying to get the, the, the synergic tools to, to operate Yara, and you fight the yeah. Red King boss, that level is amazing. And it feels like it's no, a that, horror. That's incredible, yeah. That, that's the, the, the one on the basement of... Of the wall space, right? On yeah, the hospital, the, the right? hospital. Yeah, I mean that level. It that really felt like really creepy right from the start. Uh, you, you you felt like something bad is down there. Yeah, you can hear, and you you if you listen with the the, the R one button, you can see the clicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did that. I did that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and 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 immediately you know you get you get an alert and you know this is going to go down really bad. But I don't want to go there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the, the the Red King boss is really, really well done. Uh, it's nice that they tried to create a super boss, basically, uh, in the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Did we have more new type of effect is, uh, other than that? Were those guys the, the stalkers in the first game? No, no. I can't remember. No, no. The, the sh- they weren't, right? The Shambler and the Stalkers are, are new. And the Red King. The Shambler, really? Yeah, the Shambler is, re- is new, I think. I don't remember seeing it in the first mm. game. So, yeah. Okay, let's move on. Uh, so, let's go to gameplay. Uh, personally, I It's think- more of the same. It's, it's a little yeah. bit improved, but nothing, nothing to talk about it. Yeah, I really have the feeling they they are a little bit like Kojima in the way they they really want to make a movie, not a game. Mm-hmm. But uh, it, it's not that the game part of it is bad. It's it's enjoyable, but it's 
it just feels like you just playing the story, right? Yeah. Like this is what's supposed to happen, and there's a very clear way that you should have figured out by now how to do it. And yeah. it, it's never hard. Like you, you fail two or three times, and you okay. I have to do this, and I'll move on. Yeah, I think that. Uh, they... but, but I enjoy that, you know, despite not being that difficult, it's well crafted. I. Yeah, one I, I thing think... that uh, the game tries to give is the feeling that uh, guns are supposed to be hard to use. That's why you have all of that sway in your aim. And, yeah. and, and when you miss a shot and you have very little bullets, you feel the pressure and every yeah, it sucks. single shot that... counts. Because you can, yeah. you shoot when you are you are aiming for the head and you miss, or you just shoot him in the chest or in the leg, and they react very well. But it's additional pressure for you because you don't know then if you are going to try to close the gap and finish them with um, with the melee while while they are stunned, or if you yeah. are, you want to keep shooting. Um, I think that that pressure makes the gunplay very uh, brutal and heavy. And it, w w that is the, the thing. Intense. Of the game. You always feel tense that you're gonna like you have to be creative in dealing yeah. with uh, with the enemies that try to be uh, use knives or use silent kills as much as you can. And, yeah. And, and that that part is nice, but um, on the looting part and the uh, the crafting, I felt it was a, a little bit too much. Like the way it kept breaking the pace between sections that you you had like you. It, at the same time, it was interesting to find notes like uh, uh, there was this part in the, towards the end with Avi that you find a, a note from some couple in a, an apartment like, um, oh, the, uh, we're, we're being overrun or something like that and uh, we left some supplies in this place and the code is our apartment yeah. was your apartment Oh, yeah, number. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, the, the whole And there's, there's a lot of things like that that are not some are forced, but some are organic. Like, oh, something happened here, and here's some story about what happened here, and yeah. that's interesting. But the there's some parts the the grinding gets a little bit too much. Um, it gets boring to me. Yeah. Like find the trash, craft, and then move on. I, I just wouldn't care that much for it. I I I, I think it would be better if it was uh, used par um, wasn't used as much. You know. Yeah. Was more sparse to the game. Yeah, the, the the thing is that it makes you almost have to explore everything in every single zone because you mm -hmm. end up feeling like you are missing something, uh, and that's really bad because it breaks the pace of the game, like you said. Um, and for and then I think that the game tries to incentivize you to play new game plus uh, because. It's very hard to get everything in the first playthrough, uh, mm -hmm. and then you know that if you want to get everything upgraded, you are going to need an, a second playthrough because there's oh, no course, way you yeah. are going to find everything in in the first unless I just pick the three I want and then try to max that the, yeah. the one that's most useful. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's what I did. But well. there's never you, you never felt that you need the upgrades though. It's good, but Usually, even if you get to to an arena, uh, to mean like to to a place with a lot of enemies that you have to deal, there's usually the the resources to to deal with it there. Yeah. Even if you don't have anything. Yeah, I think that uh, it, maybe it's a little bit harder, but it's it's still still doable. Yeah, the the game the loot becomes more interesting once you start you start to be able to craft your own ammo. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So and the trick mines are, are hilarious. I, I I love them so much to use to use them. Yeah, I I I, like I, just... I I stopped using those when I tried to kill uh, Shambler for like the third time, and the runner would just random st randomly start running and destroy it gets destroyed by, by the mine, and the Shambler just runs to me <laughs> because <laughs> so my plan just failed. But you, but you can play with it a little bit. It, it's yeah. not as as, as as deep as like Metal Gear Five, yeah. that you can play a, a lot in the in that sandbox, but you can do some funny things like lure people to the mines, and yeah. then there's a big explosion, or or there's the stuff like that, that that's fun to do. Like, um, yeah. oh, I I saw a clip online that was really good that um, 
they killed all the enemies and left one alive, and then grabbed them and uh, throw the just shot at the uh, at the floor to call a clicker, oh. and then just push the guy to the clicker. <laughs> The clicker starts to eat them, and he just run away, and he uses that animation to to lift a uh, uh, a fence, yeah. <laughs> and you get away, and the guy just is there being eaten by the the clicker. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, they didn't really introduce many new mechanics to the gameplay. You can prone now, and there are the dogs. But that, that, that was that thing with the dog. Was that in the first game, that the dog can follow your scent? Or no, no, no. The, that dogs, the dogs is new, yeah. The, the, the dog can... But that, that wasn't used that much, to, to be honest. But yeah. it and was the, like kind of cool when it happened. <laughs> yeah, and you get a, a, a bow or a silen silencer very, very early in the game, and you can just dispatch of the dogs very quickly. Uh, so yeah, I never yeah. thought that they were. Badly, man. Really that's the worst part in the game. Yeah, yeah, that's the worst part is <laughs> killing the dogs. <laughs> I really hate it. And you should have like a hidden trophy to to do the game without killing animals or something like that. Yeah, like no animal has been harmed in the making of this game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That that that's the the other thing is that uh, the. the when that, you, that, that, that was the thing that, that, that hurt me a little bit when you start playing with Abby and they're yeah. shaking out our full face. Yeah. And you see her like uh, um, petting the dog, and I was like, oh. Fuck. I want to kill this dog. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad already. Fuck. Yeah. That's the, yeah, the, uh, that's the thing is that the, the, when you kill someone in this game, it's brutal and it feels real. Uh, the, the, yeah. the enemies call each other by the name, which is a nice detail, in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. y you, when and it's nice to hear to hear them refer to to Avi when they see they she yeah. turns. Yeah. And you, when yeah, you see that guy, um, Isaac, right, the, the leader. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and, and, that, you, and that was cool too when you saw Telly. She kept calling you motherfucker between yeah. between like dodges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, when you shoot someone, you shoot an enemy in the leg with a high caliber weapon, and then the leg just goes flying or the arm, and the guy just starts yeah. screaming, and uh, the enemies that are around him just start panicking, uh, like saying, "Holy shit!" I don't know. What oh, the executions are, are brutal, man. Yeah. When you have that big hammer, big pickaxe, yeah. usually some some big woman carries that is so satisfying to use when you kill someone with it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, and the, the the detail, the small details, like when you shoot a guy in the face, the the blood uh, drips from like real realistically. So uh, if depending on his position, uh, that that blood will just flow through his to, to to the back of his head or through his nose, depending on if it's if he's facing backwards or uh, proning, right? Uh, yeah. And I think that's the the kind of details uh, that make this game and every Naughty Dog game really, really. Yeah, good. Naughty Dog is just detailed to the, to the max. You, yeah. you can just sit in shutter mode and and be amazed at, at so much things. Yeah. And uh, when you play guitar, she plays the right chords. She like all, all these small stuff that adds up. Yeah. One thing that was a little, a little, a little bit annoying gameplay-wise was the the animations for repairing your weapon for giving it upgrades. Oh, I like them because they have uh, this kind of generic animation for each category, but it takes so long, man. It, it feels a little bit. Um, I don't know. I think I don't that, know. Stuck. I don't know. You I like think it? It's, yeah, yeah. I think it's immersive. <laughs> I don't know, but oh, I'm gonna give it range, and she basically basically cleans the weapon, and it's just this long animation, you know. Mm. No, I mean, I uh, you can see that, the, uh, for example, for the pistol, when you are trying to increase the to increase the the decrease the sway in this case and decrease the stability, you can see her that she changes the grip of the gun. It passes passes some oil and. Um, just scratches yeah. it a bit because it makes sense that uh, you can hold the, the gun better, right? It won't slip. So in that case, your your stability will be better, right? 
and that, that's the I, I really enjoyed seeing those those updates. That's just for for gun porn aficionados. So yeah, just spamming the button to to skip it. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, okay, so let's segue to the graphics. Uh, of amazing, TV. amazing, beautiful. Yeah. I, I played on a base PS4 with on a TV with HDR, but it was still incredible. Probably on the Pro is is amazing as well. Yeah, I played, it on, I played it on the Pro, and I mean that the, the, at 4K 30 FPS, right? Is where you play. The, the, the game is not native 4K. Uh, it's one. Of course. 1440. But you, you can't play at 60 on the on the Pro, right? No, you can't. At any resolution. No, it's also it's it's always 30. Um, okay. I I think I mean, if they re release the game for the PS5 or uh, they introduce an update for the PS5 where it can run at 60 FPS, then this game is going to be mind blowing in my opinion. The, yes. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I hope they do that for a lot of games. I, I want to play Horizon in 4K as well at a, a good res. Well, the game great. is coming for PC, so. Oh can... yeah, through through that, through that. Uh, yeah, I mean the farm. But the, the 30 FPS weren't a, a problem, to be honest. Yeah, it was they, always they... locked at that. Uh... Yes, the frame pacing is very good, and now I'm playing Uncharted 4 again. Uh, with at 4K with HDR, and I noticed that there are yeah. a lot of frame drops, and there is none in, in in Last of Us. At least that none that I that I noticed. The game is incredibly smooth, even for, even at 30 FPS, uh, it performs very yeah. well. The scope is uh, is also maybe smaller than Uncharted, no? A little bit. No, smaller. no, no. I think it's bigger because you have. Um, I mean. That that Seattle zone is incredibly detailed and there's a lot of foliage. Yeah. Uh, and the no, level... and the loadings are incredible. Like I never felt the loading was, was yeah. as big as the first well, game. Well, when I started like that. when I played um, New Game Plus and I skipped some of the cutscenes, you can you get loadings, but the loadings. Oh yeah, of course. The, the, they of run course, so seamlessly. The yeah, yeah, they run so seamlessly. We with in the, during the the cutscenes and the game has. Long cutscenes that you don't. You, the only loading that you technically have is the first one when you boot the game. Otherwise, there yeah. there, is, there is no loadings during the game. <clears throat> when no, you traverse, it's done very well, very very flawless. Feels very immersive that way. Yeah, yeah you and, can and traverse the game. That feels that you you should have played it in one go, although being very hard to do. Yeah, it's thirty five hours. It, yeah. it would be cool to see like a, a four hour cut of the game or something like that. Yeah. Uh, one area that I really liked, especially at 4K with HDR, it's the farm. The rain. The, no, the farm. The, the farm where Ellie goes to live after the before the final. Oh trial. yeah, man. Yeah, that, that sun, that that sun in the distance from the tractor, like oh. Yeah, I mean that. that I I had to try photo mode, uh, and I chose that 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 uh, particular area to do it, and it's just amazing. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. they, they really want to punch the the perfect like slice of life there. Yeah, I mean the, the little the little sheep, everything is so perfect. Yeah, you end up losing a lot of time during the game. That's one of the reasons why the pacing is so slow, just to appreciate every single detail that the the the, the, the scenes have to show you. Yeah, there, there, there's there's some parts that are really amazing. Yeah. Just feeling really know of how much detail there is. Yeah. Okay. So I think that uh, we have covered every topic, and let's go to our final thoughts. So, what do you have to say about the game? Do you recommend it? Yeah. So I recommend it a lot. Like you, you have to judge this game by the the narrative, most of all. And uh, at the end of the game, I wasn't. I didn't feel like I was betrayed or anything like that. I think it's the story they wanted to tell. It's a very bleak story. Uh, especially if you're feeling bad about the, the things that are going on. It's not a good game to play at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's yeah, very it's real at, at some part there. Mm -hmm. Like you, you start to think, is this the future? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, but it, uh, it, all in all, the, the presentation is so good and I, I was happy to be, to be taken to the story. It was very, very good. Yeah, I also really enjoyed playing this game. I mean, I played it in two sessions. 
<laughs> so like more than yeah. 10 hours e- each because I got so hooked to the game. Uh, but I, you, I, you ended up having 25 hours, right? Yeah. I had 20. 21, I think. Yeah, I, I I made sure to explore every single... I mean, no stone was left unturned. Uh, <laughs> and, and I still didn't find anything, everything in the game. Uh, but but now, I, now I'm curious, did you find any one of, one of those small stories that the game has? Uh, was any of them memorable to you that you, you remember and you enjoyed a lot? The small stories. Uh, yeah, you know, like the captain, the captain of the boat, for example. No, I really, the, I, I, I really like the one that you mentioned before uh, about the neighbors. In that, that, that. The thing. neighbors, yeah. Yeah, I, I really like, love, like that story. Uh, but to be honest, I didn't pay much attention to most of the notes. <laughs> I read a bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, uh, I just wanted to, to. I, I usually don't really pay too much attention to that kind of collectibles. Um, there are some I read a bit, and if it if it catches my attention, I'll read everything. Uh, but uh, I mean, I think that the that's the thing. The game does a, a good job to give you some background to what's happening. Uh, and uh, the, I mean, those uh, the notes of, of the neighbors, I liked it because it led to some loot. Um, yeah, I, th- I think that the... I, I like it when they they tell like it tells you a little bit about the world when you went to yeah. shit. Yeah, it's world shit, building. Like the... It's world building. Yeah, right? uh... it's cool because they they don't need to to approach that during the the main story, but it's nice to know, you know. Yeah, like the the the, the captain was just the story of how people were trying to escape and some people got infected on the boat and then. They had to kill those people, a fight broke up. It's interesting yeah. to know them more about the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It becomes more immersive, yeah, that you know you know that uh, some really... Yeah, it feels like a real place at the, at the yeah. same time. Yeah, M- it makes it more organic, yeah. Okay, mm. uh, so I think we are going to end up this discussion here. Uh, so Last of Us Part 2 is a great game. Uh, do do, do you think we're going to have another chapter? After this, the, I mean, uh, may, probably or maybe, but with different characters in probably a oh, different yeah? part you of think the game. Yeah, that? Yes, I mean, she lost two fingers; she can't play guitar anymore. Uh, so <laughs> I think that uh, Ali's story is done. Uh, perhaps they can do another game with Abby, but uh, do, I mean, with all this backlash, I doubt that they would go for Abby again. Uh, maybe some. No, they, they could do something else and have those characters be background okay. characters or like legends in the game. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. That would be a, a good way. Some cameo or something like that. Otherwise, I don't think mm. that they should uh, do. I mean, yeah, or just thing... make a new IP even and call I... it a day for this. Yes, or, or that, or uh, they can explore the twenty-year uh, time gap that is in the first game, right? If after the prologue there is twenty year jump, and they can explore yeah. that and show. Yeah, that's us. true. They could do like DLC or something like that, even yeah. if they don't want to make a full a full game. Yeah, I mean, uh, only they know. <laughs> we don't know, and mm-hmm. I wouldn't be opposed to another game in this universe because I think that there is a lot of lore to to explore in here. Okay. Yeah, it's a cool concept. Like the the enemies, especially, are very interesting. Like the, the different type of effects, and they yeah. they really did their their world building to a satisfying degree. So I hope we see more for them. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's all right stop this discussion here. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.